good morning everybody. How y'all doing? Pretty good here. And welcome to the channel. Out cruising around in my dirty, filthy, freshly tinted Toyota Tundra. Mm, that's for another video. Uh, and we've got Krista with us here. And she drove the truck for the first time uh, day before yesterday, I believe. And I thought it would be interesting to get her impressions of the truck. Um, since it was her first time, so... Without you in it. Without me in it, yes. Which so she, is always fantastic. She had complete control. That is always fantastic. Without my very knowledgeable input, let's just say. Uh, yeah. So anyway, what, uh... First of all, let's just start with the, the exterior of the truck itself, because you really haven't talked much about the truck, I don't think. Mm. What do you think about the, the appearance of the truck? You like the cement color? Mm -hmm. What about all the chrome? I'm not a big chrome person myself, but I must say the chrome with this color actually doesn't look that bad to me. I don't know if I'd, I'd probably change the mirrors and the door handles. The front end, I don't know. I think it's kind of cool. So we should say that she is not a true anti-chromist, as am I. No, but I mean, well for the most part, but not always. Okay. There are some vehicles where I think it looks good. All right. What about getting into the truck? You know, it has these massive side steps on it. What, what do you think about the entry into this truck? Oh, I think it's fine. Those side steps are, as you say, highly functional. They are highly they functional. They are very functional. They are, they, they do what they need to do. It makes getting in and out easy. Yeah, I thought about Although changing. they are ugly, though. They are the ones ugly. that come on this truck are not. They're pretty ugly. They're yeah, they're they're nothing nice to look at. No, but I, they do serve the purpose. I thought about changing them out, but they're so functional that I would lose that if I did. So uh, we'll see. That's uh, to be determined, I guess. All right. So you're in the truck. How's the seating in the truck when you get in here? Fine. What comfortable? Not comfortable? Oh, easy to God. get in? Much more comfortable. Tacoma? The Tacoma. The Tacoma. Much more comfortable than the Tacoma. Those seats in the Tacoma are awful. What about They're just as bad as the... What's, what other vehicle did you have? The seats were just horrible. What about compared to the Rebel? I would say they are about the same. That's one thing I had been missing once you uh, traded in the Rebel. I missed the seats. Now I've got those seats back. They're much better. Alright. So I would say they're probably equal. With the rebel, the rebel might be a little bit more comfortable, right. but not enough to be miserable. So you get in it, you're comfortable in the seats and all that good stuff. Can you see out of it? Yep. You're driving. Yep. Pretty well. Yep. How's it feel on the road? Smooth. Smooth. Yeah. Smoother than the Tacoma, which I guess makes sense. It's a lot heavier. Yeah. What did you think of the power? Um, I think it's okay. I think it lacks. You think this lacks power? A little bit. Do you really? How so? You you can't just go like you could with the Rebel. Huh, I disagree. I find this I to be know. more powerful than the Rebel was. That's strange. That's well. How did you know. determine that? Were you like trying to race at the stoplight or? No, how, I'm what? not trying to race, but I was trying to drive as I normally do, and that obviously isn't going to happen. I don't know, it just seemed to me to take a little longer to get up to speed. Hmm, that's interesting, I... But I didn't drive the Rebel all that much, so... I would I disagree know. with that, but... Okay. Um, did it feel big on the road? How's it feel on the road, size-wise? It really doesn't. I don't think. It, it doesn't feel big. I don't know. I mean, looking out the rear view, when the rear view uh, mirror, you can't even see the back of the truck. Just, I don't know. It doesn't feel that big to me. And how did the Rebel feel? Did it feel big? It did. It did? Yeah. I wonder if that's a combination of the height of this truck and the, uh, the different kind of slope or whatever to the front end. I actually think the front end of this is shorter. It looks shorter. But it may but just it's... slope out of your line of sight yeah. you know, quicker than the Rebel did. And maybe that gives you the feeling that it's not as long because you can't 
you don't look as long over the front of the hood before it disappears. Right. I don't know. Yeah, I think that the way this is the way this is laid out makes it a lot easier to drive, where you don't feel like you have to concentrate to stay in your lane. Right. You have better visibility, so you can just drive as you normally do, and it's <coughs> so it feels fine. narrower to you. the space in here? you think it has more than the Rebel did? It might. It always seems to me like it, like it's bigger in here than the Rebel was. I don't know. Not that I'm trying to compare this truck in this video to the Rebel, but no. as a point of reference. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah. I don't know if it is or not. Mm. To be quite honest. And the this seats look bigger in the back. They do, yeah. They definitely look like they're more comfortable. Well, everybody so far that sat back there has said they're more comfortable. They yeah. don't have that same angle that the other trucks have had. So. Right. Now, this truck has one thing, an obvious thing in it, that the Rebel didn't. Nor the Fords. I don't think they did either. And that sunroof. is the sunroof. What do you think of that? Well, you know what I think of that. You like the sunroof? Yes, dear. Oh, I see. I'd have a sunroof in every vehicle. Yeah. But I use it. That's, you, don't, you, you don't use it. You usually have it covered up and it doesn't exist. That's true. It's open now for uh, for lighting purposes. That's the... Uh, <laughs> it's for filming. I have mine open. The only time I close it if it's, if it's really, really hot in the summer and the sun's beating in on you, then I close it. Otherwise, I'd have it open all the time. I mean, as in the screen open. So do you like driving this truck? It's okay. There's two things I don't like. Oh, what's that? The steering is very loose to me. If I'm using the right word. That's probably because you're used to the BMW that's much tighter. Well, and I, I do seem to prefer steering that is more tight, more precise. This steering has a lot of give in it. Mm -hmm. That, uh, just a personal preference. I don't like it. Right. And I find the brakes to be a little sluggish. you got to really step on them. Well, to stop. That's probably because it's so heavy. Perhaps. you got a lot of weight to stop in this as compared to a right. little dinky. It could be. Car, so. I'm not a, I'm, I don't drive truck every day, so yeah. it'd be probably something to get used to. So I guess... Uh, but overall, I'm impressed. What everybody wants to know, or what I want to know. Okay. Do you like this better or not? than the Rebel. I don't know. I never I never drove the Rebel by myself. You I drove it with drove? you twice. I drove it with you once during the day and once at night, and that was it. Hmm. I never drove it after that, so I, I don't know. The I times that I drove it, I just remembered that I must have been doing something right. He was doing everything wrong. And... Uh, <laughs> To me, though, this one, like I said, it doesn't feel as big. And, of course, you weren't in the truck, so I'm able to just relax and drive without being made nervous by my crazy passenger. And, uh, yeah, I like it. All right. Well, that's Krista's, I guess I'll call it, mixed review of the uh, Toyota Tundra. Um, Not every car is perfect. Can't can't say that I agree with uh, her, but anyway, that's her opinion of it. Uh, as usual, appreciate you guys watching. Please uh, click subscribe if you haven't before. Give us a thumbs up on this video, and uh, we'll see you next time. On the way. Have a good day. Bye. Bye.